So climate change is a real challenge. It is something that we should be concerned about. Neither Matt nor I are saying that we shouldn't also be cutting carbon emissions. But that's not the question in front of you. The question in front of you is, can humans adapt to climate change? And the overwhelming answer is yes, because we've done so in many different ways before. We're very adaptive species. We live pretty much everywhere on the planet. We live in frigid Greenland and in hot, humid Singapore. We live where hurricanes hit or where floods strike. We live in the driest of deserts or in Seattle. We live <laughs> everywhere. We live on ranges that are much grander than anything climate can throw at us. And that's because we already adapt. The history shows very clearly that we can adapt. Look, over the last 150 years, sea levels rose about a foot. Did anyone notice? If you ask a very old person who lived through most of the 20th century, likely to be a woman, and ask her what were the important things that happened in the 20th century, she'll talk about the world wars, maybe antibiotics, maybe even the IT revolution, but she will not be saying, oh, and sea levels rose. Why? Because we fixed it. This is the stuff that we're really good at. We know this across a wide range of areas. So we have good studies that show that we adapt to all of the negative impacts from climate change. So both for heat waves, for droughts, for storms, and for floods, we become better and better at handling these problems. That means that the damage costs, both in terms of dead and in terms of impact, have gone down, both for rich and for poor countries. Why? Because we adapt. But of course, my esteemed opponents are going to say, sure, maybe we could adapt, but it's going to get much worse in the future. No, that's not what the models show us. So take, for instance, hurricanes. We know hurricanes are going to be more ferocious because of global warming. That's absolutely true. But because we're also more resilient, because we're also rich, because we know how to deal with that much better, the models show that we will actually see less damage in percent of GDP by the end of the century because of hurricanes. Actually, it'd be about half. And we know this across a wide range of areas is actually true. So take, for instance, the UN estimated that by the end of the century, we will be much better off as a civilization. If you take the middle scenario, the middle of the road scenario, as they call it, the average person in the world will be 450% as rich as he or she is today. That's a fantastic achievement, but that's without climate change. So what will climate change do? Well, we know because there's lots of people who spend a lot of time looking at this. And what they found was, if you take a look at the models that underpin uh, Biden's climate administration's arguments, or if you take the only climate economist who's ever won the Nobel Prize in climate economics, they show us that yes, climate change will mean we will be less well off. So instead of being 450% as rich by the end of the century, we will only be 434% as rich. That's a problem, but it's not the end of the world. Actually, it's still a much, much better world. And this underlines the fundamental problem and the point that we need to tackle here today. Yes, global warming is a problem. Yes, we should also deal with it through mitigation and smart cutting of carbon. But the question in front of you is, can we adapt? Can humans adapt to climate change? And the simple answer is not only have we done so, the models show us we will do so. And so the answer is yes, we will. Thank you.